We're uh, in the process of finalising and appointing the front end engineering, which is a key step towards the the construction. And um, I think this year is going to be quite a significant year for us. Talking graphite here with Andrew and Ecograph. Andrew, you sealed yourself a deal with BASF, the Badische Annelin Fabrik out of Germany. Congrats. Yeah, thanks, Arnie. Nice to be back with you and thanks for having us on again. Uh, yes, it is a nice uh, result and uh, kudos to our, our team for uh, being able to secure uh, the collaboration with BASF. It's taken some, some test, really positive test work results and, and I guess when you look at BASF, It's all about uh, the circular economy, closed loop manufacturing of not only the cathode minerals, but the, uh, the anode minerals. So I think it's a, it's a great uh, result for us and we're very much looking forward to supporting their recycling efforts. And uh, yeah, it will help put graphite um, firmly on the map in, in Europe as well. Yeah, and for those not familiar outside of Europe with BSF, They are actually a multinational chemical company, one of the largest in the world, 68 billion revenue in 2023, um, bottom line profits of 3.8 billion. So Andrew, that definitely adds some additional leverage in terms of uh, investment, bringing your case forward for recycling in Europe. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it strengthens our, uh, our German partnership and we've been very focused on uh, Germany as a, as a key partner for us and you know also that goes back to our, our financing with KFW IPEX Bank and our other partners in uh, Germany as well which includes Tizenkrupp uh, as well so we're building up a, a very nice uh, case for uh, an alternate supply from originating from uh, Tanzania as well. Yeah, and one of the questions, of course, from the German uh, community uh, invested in Ecograph. And here, thank you very much, guys, for submitting your questions. Thank you very, very much for supporting us here. Is BSF now already working on the plant? Is that plant being built already? So where are we, Andrew? Is there anything you can already share? Yeah, the collaboration is, is supporting their R&D and, and the, their recycling efforts. Uh, we understand that they'll be building their plant at the end of the year. That's what they've uh, announced. And uh, it's an exciting opportunity for us. And we're very much looking forward to continue working with them. They look like they're going to be a leading uh, recycler, battery recycler uh, in, in uh, Europe and Germany. And uh, it's a very exciting prospect for us. And talking about Germany, the KfW, the German Bank for Economic Development. Where are we in the process of uh, the approval for Ecograph on with the KfW? Yeah, look, it's been uh, a very pleasing result for our financing team to secure the mandate, uh, securing uh, a mandate to secure a loan for US 105 million through the uh, German government UFK uh, process. Uh, we announced that late last year in December. Our team uh, is working uh, through that process. And again, it's quite a significant development for not only our shareholders, but also for Tanzania to see a, a, a quality financing from KFW IPEC supported by the German government to d develop a graphite project in, in Tanzania. And um, yeah, we can't say too much. There, there, it's, there is a process we have to go through, but everything's going very well at this stage and we're very confident that uh, things will uh, progress uh, as expected and uh, the debt financing will be in place. Okay, and as the KfW is uh, based out of Germany, you need to at least have one German buyer of the raw materials. So um, the financing is kind of connected uh, with that prerequisite. Is there any indication already who is going to be the German raw material buyer? Yes, look, we've got, our, we've got the largest uh, graphite uh, trader and Tizenkrupp um, as the, the, the cornerstone offtake uh, partners that are going to support the, the, the loan process through, through offtake. The loan is all about securing raw materials for German industry. And it's not only for, for those two companies, but you know German industry to use the, uh, the material. And during the, uh, the initial contact, um, you know, the battery market wasn't as significant as we expected. So we uh, think that, you know, there's a broader opportunity here uh, to supply graphite into other, other markets than, than uh, just solely Tizenkrupp's um, uh, arrangement. Okay, and then talking about the other side of the equation along the process, it all, of course, starts with mining. So Tanzania, where are we with the mining license in Tanzania for the graphite? Yes, well, it's... Um, 
Uh, we are working uh, through that process. We've submitted all the, the documentation required by the company and, and the SML licence we're expecting to be granted uh, fairly soon. Uh, we're expecting the government to uh, give us the, the licence. Uh, we can't preempt the, the exact timing of it, but the benefit of it is that it's for a much larger area. It covers the whole entire strike length of the Panko deposit. And we've shown geologically how significant and the size and the scale of that deposit is from the recent drilling program. We'll update the mineral resource estimate over the next month as a result of the drilling program last year that is encapsulated by that uh, SML licence. But it's certainly a key driver. I think it'll be a, a major recognition for, for our uh, company. But, it's, you know, we've, we have got working title. It's not slowing you know, it's not slowing any of the programs down. We've got an existing mining licence that we're operating under. So we've got working title, legal title and uh, the SML licence. What that will bring will just be a much more significant area to demonstrate the scale of the opportunity and al also um, uh, the longevity in the in the tenure. It's, a, it's at least going to be 25 years. Uh, mining, mining. And once you receive that license, do you already have the timetable for the construction of the mine? Is that something that you can kind of got ready? Yeah, we've got a very detailed uh, schedule and as the, the financing is is consummated, we, we will announce, you know, more detailed uh, ti timelines uh, around the, the, the construction. We're uh, in the process of finalising and appointing the front end engineering, which is a key step towards the, the construction and um, I think this year is going to be quite a significant year for us with activity in, in Tanzania and uh, the mining licence is probably going to be the first key bit of news followed by the engineering uh, design work. Of course then the next step after building the mine is then mining the graphite. Do we already have an indication now with that roadmap, the timelines, when that is going to happen, the mining of the first graphite for Ecograph in Tanzania. The, the challenge we've got is it's really dependent on the financing. So it's an 18-month construction period, and um, so um, you really that's the timetable we're operating to. So uh, 18 months after financing will be for first production. It's a, that really delivers us into the key key market, key demand, as demand for, it moves away out of China into Europe, into um, the US, that timetable sort of fits the expected schedule for this rest of the world demand, which we're expecting quite significant uh, volumes for. So that sounds like we could actually see revenues from this whole operation within the next 24 months. Of course, forward-looking statement, the statement now made from me, not from Ecograph here. So, okay, Andrew, we'll leave it at that for the time being. Talking about Tanzania, the government very supportive of mining right now. Also, it seems that it is the right jurisdiction from a European, North American point of view. You've just been to the mining event in South Africa and there seemed to have been a major American presence for the first time ever. Quite surprising. A wind of change? Yes, look, a absolutely. And it was the 30th year of mining in Darbar. It's the largest African uh, mining conference, second largest conference in the world. There's a lot of focus coming in to, to, to Africa, uh, Tanzania. To see the delegation of the US government uh, really is, is significant for countries like Tanzania. We also saw major EV manufacturers for the first time. So there was about four or five European and US car manufacturers. So this is all coming back to the world looking for alternate uh, critical minerals to feed this transition to clean energy and and um, yeah it's really positioning uh, Tanzania very nicely. Uh, Tanzania has got a Archean uh, craton, it's got Proterozoic rocks which all means that it's got all these nice critical battery minerals that the world's looking for and um, the president uh, Samia Hassan is the first female president in Tanzania and currently the only female head so there's a lot of interest from Europe to industrialize Tanzania and Africa and the critical minerals is really uh, a time when there's a lot of interest and I think that's going to support and you know companies like us with with our graphite 
is getting this strong European support. So, yeah, there was a big... Uh, uh, the mining in Darba was a very successful show. Our team went down, our Tanzanian team uh, attended, and uh, it was very well received. Thank you very much, Andrew. And we are pushing for a YouTube live event, guys. Um, we are working on it, and Andrew has promised at some point we are going to host one. We just need to cross uh, the next milestones here. So, Andrew, thank you very much, and see you soon.